New bombshells from the journalist who claimed she was targeted for reporting negatively on the Obama administration. As former CBS reporter Cheryl Ackeson reveals a list of evidence in her forthcoming book that she says proves the administration may have been doing a lot more than just hacking her computers. Trace Gallagher, live from our West Coast newsroom with more. Trace. Megan, toward the end of her run with CBS News, Cheryl Atkinson complained loudly that network executives often refused to air stories that were critical of the Obama administration, like Fast and Furious and Benghazi. So the relationship between Atkinson and CBS was clearly strained. And yet, CBS verified back in 2013 that Atkinson's computers had been hacked and that whoever hacked her went to great lengths to cover it up. Now in her new book, Atkinson is alleging that an unnamed source inside the government who analyzed her computer said that he was shocked and flabbergasted by what he found, telling her, quoting, this is outrageous, worse than anything Nixon ever did. I wouldn't have believed something like this could happen in the United States of America. Atkinson also says not only was her computer breached, but hackers tapped into her audio device to listen in on conversations and tried to frame her by planting classified documents in an area of the computer that only a computer whiz could find, saying the motive was to lay the the groundwork for possible charges against her or her sources. And she claims the hacking has an undeniable link to the Obama administration, either the FBI, CIA, or NSA. Here's Atkinson talking about her book on YouTube. Listen. I was at home working on questions for yet another story that the Obama administration was unhappy with related to the Benghazi terrorist attacks. And as I was typing and working on questions for a Benghazi-related story, the, the data started wiping kind of at hyper speed, uh, being deleted as if my computer had been hijacked and I had no control over it. The Justice Department has denied the allegations. CBS News has declined to comment on the new book. Megan. Thanks, Trace. Well,